What you doing nowadays? Well, I noticed that my two wheels here, the front one here, has a lot of brake dust around it. But oh. it isn't really spinning like it should. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Oh my gosh, I can hardly turn that. I know. Is it supposed so, to go pretty freely? Yeah. So, I'm thinking I got a brake shoe dragon, or a brake pad dragon on there, so... Let's see what we got. So first we gotta take off the hook cap. And that's about all that involves. That. And we gotta pull the wheel. 15, 16 socket. Electric impact does it. Nice job. Of it. Everybody should have one. Yeah. Before you take it off. Yeah. What I notice is how black and streaky that is. Is that what you're talking about? Just all the dust. Yeah. See the black dust? See that? Yeah, it's good, yeah. That's brake dust. Huh. And it, it just shows more brake dust than the rest of them, so. So this is part of your exterior inspection when you walk around. Yeah, the trick here is when you take this wheel off, do not let it drop onto that plastic cap. Yeah, there's quite a bit of brake dust in there. Look at that. Holy smokes. That's supposed to be shiny. Oh man, there's barely any pad left on there. What's up with that? This is caliper sticking shut. So I gotta figure out why that's doing that. And make it so it opens up. Plus it looks like I gotta get brake pads. Now where to find those at around here? I do not know. Why would this happen? Well, the brake calipers are on a slide. And if it gets a lot of dirt and corrosion in here, it stops the calipers from sliding. So once they squeeze, they kind of stay squeezed. Now you said that this pad is just about worn out. How can, what's it supposed to look like? Yeah, in between this part, this metal part, and this rotor, there's supposed to be about that much room, which tells me that a lot of the pad is missing. Oh, because you only have like an itty teeny bite bit right there. Yeah, and the rotor's in really good shape. All right, let's see if we can. What are you expecting to find? Wore out pads. Well, I'm at the why are they wore out. Yeah, well, I'm hoping that the slides here are a little corroded. So they just got to be greased up a little. And so it'll slide easier and retract the way they're supposed to. That's one. This one's stuck a little. So that kind of tells me what's going on there. And not to mention, I've noticed this wheel heats up more than the others. Oh, on the uh, tire pressure monitor system? Yeah. Yeah, well, this is the one that always hits like 145. Yeah, it rings early. Pressure and uh, the temperature is up a little higher too. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that tells me that baby's stuck on there. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Those pads are mighty thin. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, there's not much left of those. Not at all. See the corrosion coming out of there? Yeah. This little screw right here, watch when I bang. See the stuff coming out? Yeah, that's probably my my problem. I notice like this rust and stuff. Oh, that's just from 
sitting here in the rain. Oh, okay. I don't see any grooves see, or anything. What would you look for? Real, real grooved up and scratched up real hard. Did you have one that was cra actually cracked? This one was. Oh, that's one you replaced. Yeah, look how easy it rolls now. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. There's absolutely no play, so that's good. I'm gonna put this shoe back in it, this one. Uh-huh. And then I'm gonna compress the, the piston in it. Take this pad out. This one stays stationary anyways. Oh. It's the one back here that does all the moving. Yeah, you got an awful lot of uh, silver flakes on that bolt thingy there. Yeah. Yeah, that's corrosion. Corrosion? Yeah. See, look at the corrosion on it. That's well, all I, white. What's that from? Water getting in there. It's got to get greased. I remember you greasing those up when you put them in. Yeah. There's a special grease you put on there to keep them going. Mm. The other one seems okay? Yeah, the other one's tight too. Fix them both, huh? Yep. Yeah. It's got a compass. There it goes. Shoo wee What a play on words. You're going to need uh, a beer right after this. Oh, six beers. <laughs> Just. See, what you See got. that one's mighty thin too. Look how thin that is. There's like nothing on it. Yeah. Should be like what at least an eighth of an inch, if not more. About a quarter. About a quarter. At wow. least. It's almost like it's been dragging or something. That's what I was doing. Put that in there like that. Take this. Put that in there. And you'll see this piston collapse. It better. There it goes. Is it moving? Oh yeah. It's moved that much. See all them threads? Oh. It's all the way down and in now. Looks like you got your new Kodiak brakes from e-trailer. Yes I did. There they are. And here's the old one. Uh, there's no groove left. Yeah, there's no warning groove. <laughs> wow. Look at the, well, let's do it this way. The thickness of it. This whole thing? That's all pad. And that's what's left of it? That's what's left of Look it. Look how thin it is on that end versus that end, yep. too. Yikes. No wonder he had all that dust in there. Yeah. That's kind of scary. Very. Super lube. Super lube. Multi-purpose synthetic grease. I lubed the slides on the brakes with that. The slides and the pins. We at in the process here. Right now, I'm just trying to pull these sleeves out of here so I can lube them up. What did you use the last time you put them in there? I think I just used silicone spray the last time. So <clears throat> you have put air brakes on this. Do you think that had any? Thing to do with them wearing quicker? I wouldn't think so, but one never knows. You, I mean, you think these things weren't sliding like they should, huh? Yeah. Normally that's the case. Sometimes the cup gets stuck in, in the caliper itself. Uh huh. This cup. Yeah. And that can cause it, and that's the case. Well, you might as well get a new caliper. How can you tell? Nobody if that's what it was getting stuck. Well, after we put it all back together, we hooked the truck up to it and we hit the brakes and see if it releases. Yeah, I got a lot of corrosion. Sure do. Look at all that. That has a lot to do with it. How you gonna get all that out of there? Just yeah. keep doing that? Just keep doing this. So now you're using that super loop? Just need a little bit. Goes a long way. back in here. So you want to get that to where it glides real good. In there. There's two holes back here. 
mm -hmm. where these bolts go into. Your uh, thread lock. Blue thread lock. I just want a, a dab. Just a, in each hole, just a touch. This one, and it's the inner pad, and it goes in this hole. Right here. Oh. Went like that. Ta da! And here's the outer pad. And these are kind of a pain. Because you really don't want to bend them, but you got to bend them. Yeah. Um. It should just slip on there, but hey, don't. There it goes. Cool. Then we take the caliper. And we put the caliper back in place. And I take a little bit of stupid lube. Super lube? Yeah. Don't want to get it on a bolt, on the thread part. A little lube on the shaft there. Okay. And then I'll put it back in a steel sleeve. And as it spins around, it'll spread that lube around. And we torque them down. That's about it. And it's good. Me glass. Brake right cleaner, cleaner, baby. Take off any lube. May it got on it. So would you just clean that with um, water or what? A little bit of brake cleaner. Yeah. But the balancing weights are gone off the rim. You're kidding. Uh -uh. There was like nine of them on there. Yeah. Well, they didn't clean it well enough. Put the glue them on there. So, surprise, surprise. So now that you found that on this one, you're going to check this one too? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm curious to see what this one looks like. This determines whether I check them all or not. How's that one doing? It's dragging. That's oh, dragging too. Yeah. It's not good. Not real good. How's that look inside there? Well, the weights are still there. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, these pads are worn. Oh, great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? You got a cracked? Cracked rotor. Where's the crack at? Right there. Oh. And right here. Oh, my gosh. Why has it got two cracks in it? Heating up. Oh, crap. Now what? Well, can you put the new brakes on and then get new uh, rotor when we get back? Yeah, we, we hope got... that rotor don't snap. If, that's, if it does, then we're in a deep shit. Okay, please don't be cracked. Boy, but the brakes are gone. Rotors are clean as a whistle. I mean, that yeah. grooved or... Yeah. Does that one spin very well? About the same as the other. I'm pretty sure the brakes are going to be wore out, huh? Oh, yeah. Doesn't want to move very easily. No. That one looks alright. So we just need to order one? One rotor, one rotor and one set of bearings. Look at the... Brake dust on this thing. There it goes. 
Dave, I noticed this actually has chunks yep. out of it. What in the world? I mean, the edges all wore off. Look. Yeah, it's wore out. I mean, there ain't nothing left to it. So what happens if you keep going? A couple going? more miles, we'd be steel on steel. And then what happens? Well, then you start grinding up your rotors and you're into all new rotors. How many miles do we have on these things? It's only a little over a year. It can't be that much. Well. It's gone. Yeah. That's very scary. Yeah. I guess I got to do brake inspections more than once a year. I think so. It has a little groove there for a warning strip to tell you how much brake pad you're burning. Well, can you find a groove? Can't find the pad. Can't find the pad, let alone the groove. What else did you find? The oil cap. The bearing cap on that one is cracked. So, I'm reordering that. Oh, rough job. I'm only halfway done. Still it. waiting for more parts and pieces. What you got in your hand there? That's a beer. That's with number one out of how many? Oh, this is number five out of ten. Oh. <laughs> we're still going. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the parts. Wait for Yeah, we're waiting for the parts. <laughs> keep, keep going until the parts show up. Retaining ring keeps that nut from moving. You'll see there's that nut right there. You ever use those parts? Yeah, the nut and that retaining ring, yeah. Grease is still nice and purple. Yep. Glad that's not black. There's the whole shimol. Alright, let's see these cracks. Right that's a big there. one right there. Right here, and a small one right there. Wow. Oh, that looks like old underwear, Dave. It is. It's safe everything, don't you? Dave's old underwear. Hey, did you just get the grease off? Clean it, yeah, cleaning the area up where the seal goes. What are you doing? Just cleaning off the shoulder for the seal, the bearing seal to ride on. Is it a little rough? Yeah. A little bit of brake cleaner. Oh, yeah. Gotta have the brake cleaner. What'd you do to prep this new rotor? I packed the bearings with grease. Uh-huh. Put them in there and put that seal in there. Uh-huh. So, what we do now, uh, gingerly, Try to put this thing on here. Like that. And keep the bearing in there. Yeah. Let me get push, your rag. Push your bearing in there. Are you good? I got it right. Red and tacky. High wheel temp bearing grease. And then I want to take this this washer off and it's got a little detent it only goes one way on there like that and you put this nut on there it goes right. and what you want to do now is you want to tighten this thing up as you're tightening after you got that then you want to take these and you want to loosen it you tighten it now you're going to loosen it try not to spin the wheel as you loosen it why you do that that sets the bearings oh shit <clears throat> And then you just go finger tight on it, just like that. And you try to get this back on there. 
that little detent. It looks like it's going to work. There it is. Take my little screwdriver. Let me make sure that's on there. And then we check for any play. And there's no play in it. A little old on there. See it's all cracked up. The seal is? Yeah, that O-ring. Yeah, what are we going to do? I'm going to replace it. Okay. So you put a brand new one on? Yeah, just rub a little bit of grease around the edge of that O-ring. So when you tighten it down, it butt doesn't buckle. so tight the seal squirts out. I don't know what that is. Great cleaner. So we got the blue Loctite. Yep. What you doing with that? Put it in these holes right here where the, the bolts go. A little there. Just a drop? Just a drop. Put the calipers, calipers back in. That goes. Hey Dave, this one still has the weights on it. How about that? Yay! One out of four. Clean the old wheel up. Much better, huh? Yeah. What you doing now? I'm setting the torque wrench to 150 foot-pounds. When you hear a click, that means it's at 150 pounds. Huh? What are you doing to it now? One taking the pressure off the torque wrench. Oh, you can't store like you had it, huh? Nope. Oh. Bring so it back smart. down to zero. Uh, check and make sure all these springs. Did you already fix all these and put them? Yep. Oh, okay. They're all good. Dave? Yeah. How many beers? Oh, that's a six backer. Each day. This has got to be a 12 pack. I've said you are sweating like what? crazy. Six pack? Six pack. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think that two Pedialytes. <laughs> two Pedialytes and a 12 pack. <laughs>